Okay, so there's a story to this one. So I really wanted to do a long exposure of the Toronto skyline. And um, I believe the next photo I'll be sharing. Actually, I'll just, I'll just go to that photo now. <laughs> so I wanted to share a photo, a long exposure of the Toronto skyline. But I, I didn't own a drone or anything like that. So I had to get crafty. And I didn't know anybody that like lived facing the tower where I could like go to their balcony and take a picture. So um, I just borrowed a, you know, maybe a building that was under construction and uh, zipped up to the top. And uh, there was a, a rooftop crane there. And so I zipped up, not to the edge of it, but just to where the uh, little booth is that the guy sits in. And I put my semi tripod up and put the camera there and uh, this is again the t5i and um, took a long exposure here of the uh, facing south towards the toronto skyline and this was shot at 25 millimeters at f16 for a 30 second exposure and my iso was 400 and you know took a few shots up there um was probably about 2 2 30 in the morning by the time i was taking this just to try and make sure that there's nobody around or that i was going to get in any hot water and uh you know to this day it is one of my favorite photos and it also has some uh, you know has some memory for me attached to it because it was the first time not the last time but definitely the first time i scaled up a building to take a photo like this and um i admit the rush was a little bit exciting and so you know this kind of became a thing for me. I did a few of these and a few of them have actually sold as uh, as large prints and hang as frame prints in uh, some people's homes. So, uh, you know, I'm proud of this one. It was kind of a first, that wasn't my first long exposure, but it was my first good, good long exposure, I think. Today's episode is brought to you by Prairie View Photo Tours. Prairie View Photo Tours invites photographers of all levels to book their all-inclusive authentic Alberta adventure at pvphototours.com. This one here was at the other end of the city, on the west end of the city, west end of downtown, really, facing, obviously, the CN Towers, you can see. And this one was at 26 millimeters, F22, one-sixth of a second, an ISO 400. And this was just basically, like I said, I was out at 2.30, 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock, something like that, to get those shots, uh, long exposures on the top of the buildings. So, you know, I thought it would be nice to stay out a little bit extra late and get a sun sunrise photo with the sin, get the silhouette of the skyline uh, up in front of it. So I went to the other side of the city and uh, and just waited and just hopped up on the little roof of basically like a uh, shop and like a rail yard shop, I guess, uh, where it was easy enough to, to climb up and um, got up there and took this long long exposure of the of the sun sunrise in Toronto and uh you know I think it's a really pretty photo. I'm I'm colorblind actually and I can't really appreciate the color in the sky but I still think it is a really really pretty photo and uh yeah so that's kind of the adventures of uh jumping up onto roofs in downtown Toronto in the middle of the night to take photos of the city. Um you know nobody was hurt in the making of these and uh <laughs> nobody is the wiser. Thank you.